Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on Jetstar. As always, this is your host, Mr. Aslan. Crypto education is my passion, guys. So, Star Staking launched a few weeks back, and a lot of people have staked their Jet. Today, I want to revisit Star Staking and check what rewards I have earned for staking my Jet till date. It's pretty cool to see those rewards rolling up every day and accumulating. So, let's head over to Star Staking and have a check at what I have got in terms of cred for staking my jet. All right, let's hit the stake jet to enter the platform and see what rewards I have got. All right, so you can see the cred running right now. That's pretty cool to watch. So for 20,000 jet that I've staked for 120 days, I've got a return of close to 3 million jet till date. And for 5,000 jet that I've staked for 60 days, I've got a return of 397. That's close to 400,000. So that's close to roughly 3.5 million that I've got in cred right now. This is pretty cool for me. I'm happy with the rewards that I'm seeing. I understand, you know, a lot of people in crypto have been used to seeing that ridiculous percentages and ridiculous rewards that are going out for staking platforms. But guess what? The regulations are a pain in the butt. Also, staking platforms as a whole, if you look at it, you need to think of a sustainable staking platform. It's not like, you know, you come out with a staking platform, run it for two months and then say, hey, we are out of funds. So we are going to stop staking. If that is the scenario, then there is no real meaning for you to actually hold a token and just take it right in the first place because when you are staking a token you are ideally looking at a passive income so if you look for passive income it should be something which which should ideally last a lifetime for you and it should be something where you have invested x amount of money and you are just receiving the passive income without doing anything and the money working for you every month or every week however it goes right so taking these things into account i think these percentages are pretty good these rewards are pretty awesome i'm more than happy with the cred rewards that i've got till date it's still accumulating though as you can see you do have the time frame for maturity available but what's more interesting for me are the other benefits that you would get for staking on these 60 days and 120 days so 30 days also has this benefit of where you get a pfp nft a priority for jet membership and a priority for star staking season 2 in addition to that if you have staked for 60 days you do get two additional pfp nfts that's a total of three now confirmed jet membership slot whitelisted for lower tire nc comic book nft and access to the jetstar ico platform lower tires now what is jetstar ico platform even I do not know. I'm also waiting to understand or probably get more details and updates on that. Pretty excited as well. Now, when it comes to the 120 days, you do get two additional PFP NFT mints. So that's a total of five. So if you have staked your jet for 120 days, you're getting five PFP NFTs. I've had a look or a sneak peek of some of these PFP NFTs. They're pretty awesome. They're quirky. I like them. Now whitelisted for all tire NC comic book NFT mint. Now as per this benefits that I've stated, it is kind of revealed that the Night Claws comic books will have a tire based system. So similar to how we saw the other NFTs or SFTs I should say on the Agora platform, uh, there are the common uncommon kind of tires the same way you will have the tire system for the NFTs as well. So staking for that 120 days will enable you to get whitelisted for all tires of the night Claws comic books that's going to come out now the last one is access to jetstar ico platform top tire i don't know what jetstar ico platform would hold it's just that we need to wait for some more time and get more details on this now coming back to what i personally think about star staking and whether it's still worth going ahead and staking your jet first and foremost i would definitely say a big yes just think of it this way instead of just keeping jet in your wallet where we do not have reflections concept right now it's best that you just go ahead and stake with whatever slots are available for the 30 days 
and let your jet ride. So for one month, you would accumulate some amount of cred. Now there is another advantage of accumulating cred, which I have been quoting from quite some time. Cred is something that would be used as a currency in the entire ecosystem. Imagine this. Now the Nightclaws comic books is almost ready to come out. And once it comes out, it would be an NFT on Agora marketplace. And what would Agora use as a currency? Cred. So basically, if you have accumulated enough cred for yourself through this staking platform, you are ideally getting that NFT for free. Pretty cool, right? And not only that, there are still a lot of Genesis NFTs or SFTs still available for you to grab before the FOMO kicks in. So you could utilize this cred and go ahead and purchase any of the SFTs that you feel like keeping with you and probably expand your collection. Cred is not only utilized for Agora, but there are a lot many utilities that are still planned for it. Now, kdarena.gg, which is kind of a tournament hosting platform for all the Web2 games and some, some of the Web3 games as well, that will also utilize cred. So having cred might give you certain edge benefits in the platform itself. Like probably you could just organize tournaments using the cred as a reward pot and you could also get some earning out of it. So there are a lot many ways that you can actually utilize cred. Certain aspects of cred are still yet to be revealed in terms of how the utility would kick in because once the games that's the CCG and the metaverse game that is planned in the later on would come out after a few years that is where you will see that cred utility will definitely be at a high level and right now considering what is the price point of cred I know people would say in terms of dollar cost value it wouldn't be too much of a reward but guess what you're getting this much of cred just calculate your reward with the launch price of cred that's 0 0.301 that's an easy 100x would cred get there i would say yes but when we'll have to wait and see because the utilities add up day in and day out it would take some time for cred to establish itself as a currency and moreover the partnerships that jetstar is actually having or aiming to have with a lot of other web3 companies as well is more towards pushing the utility of cred now just to take it as an example if you are partnering with a game which is another project in crypto itself then jetstar is probably pushing towards using cred as an in-game currency for their game instead of having their own token they might have a governance token but the in-game currency could still be cred so once that is pushed indirectly, that particular community will be utilizing cred. So there will definitely be some buys from that community. Now, when this will happen, as soon as the partnership is announced, no, absolutely not. So we just have to wait and see what would happen after the partnership is strongly established. It would definitely take some time. Just it takes as in the real world scenario, wherein you have companies getting merged or probably partnering with each other and each company would benefit after a certain duration of time it would be not like you know you sign the partnership deal today and tomorrow bang you both are in profit that's not something how it works so just one thing that i have in my mind is yes people are a little concerned i am too because even my money is there with jetstar on the sidelines i'm really happy with the way that the team is actually working seeing them close from quite some time i know for a fact and probably from my personal belief i do trust them that the decisions that they take are always good for both the project and the community as well although it might seem at the current scenario that certain decisions taken might be a data because we have been used to that you know meme culture wherein you had ridiculous percentages you had reflections and you had those price pumps that used to happen when the bull market was running but now imagine just go back to all those projects that had come out in the bull market and how many of them are still alive that's it and what have they actually done till date these are the two things that you need to go ahead and check back and when you compare that with what jetstar has done and has been doing and will be doing in the future that's a pretty good road and i'm happy to ride it as long as it takes so that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching there will be season two of star staking so watch out for that if in case you missed season one there will be more rewards that we can expect once season two kicks off this is mr aslan signing off guys thank you so much for watching this video meet you in the next one ciao